guys, good morning. So at my back is the SM Aura and I'm right now here in Market Market. So pasensya na guys, medyo pinapadami ang aking lip tint. So this is a super beautiful product for men. So I'm gonna talk about it in one of my vlogs. I'm gonna review it and I'm gonna introduce it to you kasi sobrang ganda niya. So um, today, uh, mag buffet ako guys um, kailangan kong mag buffet kasi wala akong vlog for a week so I need to show you um, some interesting um, things kasi one week akong nawala so okay so I'll, I'll show you what I'm wearing so ayan guys I'm wearing my um, my camouflage brain habayanas Chinelas. That was um, my pants is a uh, camouflage print um, pants. This is for 100 pesos. At ang t shirt ko is an oversized ukay ukay um, for around 35 pesos. Siguro kasi malaki ang chan ko ngayon, guys. So I am wearing oversized clothes so come on join me let's go punta na tayo sa market market ayan so this is actually going towards the main entrance of the mall so ito mga stores na to ewan ko kung bakit sarado siya ngayon parang sarado na siya ng matagal na siguro o tatanggalin papalitan o ililipat and ito naman yung pinakaluma na na terminal so, that is going to Ayala and may mga destinations dito na ayan siguro naman you can see from the signs mga green signs sa us ayan so. and on this side naman guys is the parking and yung mga buildings sa yun is um, the Serendra and going to High Street. So ayan guys, malapit na tayo sa Market Market Mall. And ito guys, um, these are rows of restaurants like this one, Cherry's Grill, and there are two buffet restaurants there na magkasubot. Now, dito naman sa part na to, is the Fiesta Market. So, maraming mga food stalls and maraming mga paninda from different regions of the Philippines. So, you don't have to go to a specific region if you want to buy something from that place. Ayan. Um, marami siya guys. Like Palawan, Cebu, Bicol, Ilocos. Yeah, let's focus on the ones we have. So, this part is yung mga tindahan ng pagkain like paddies, binalot, binings and then those are the chairs kung saan ka pwedeng kumain So ito guys, isa sa mga buffet dito itong Kamay Kainan Plus um, and uh, ayan, um, yung presyo it's eat all you can with bottomless drinks for 420 I guess I'm gonna cover this in another vlog so hindi mo na ako dito ngayon dun ako sa isa dito ako guys sa Kabalen so dito ako magbo-buffet today ayan so this is what I'm gonna show you I'm gonna have a food review very honest food review kung gano pa kasarap yung pagkain o hindi masarap or whatever so So, ito pala yun guys. So, ayan yung presyo. Um, pag weekdays, 378 siya. So, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 398. So, mag-add ka lang ng 85 pesos for the range of all So, ayan. So, by the way guys, this store is in market. So, We're just waiting for it to open. Ayan guys, we're now inside and maliit lang yung place na po and I'm gonna show you the food. So, 
I'll start with this. This are my caldereta mangoes. So this are all Filipino food. Oh my god! Malinamnam guys, lalo na yung taba ng bangus. Hindi masyadang maasim. So, pigman na natin yung line. Masarap naman siya guys. Lasa siya pinanga. So, pigman naman natin yung bitson. Mm -hmm. Very crisp. Pero guys, hindi masarap yung ano, hindi masarap yung white rice. Halatang, halatang tinipid yung kanin. So, napaka-importante ko naman ang kanin. Kasi, kahit na hindi masarap masyado yung lang, pag masarap ang kanin, okay na yun. Pero pagpangit ang ano, pagpangit ang kanin. Wala. So, anyway, meron naman si Dang. Ito, arroz balinsyana at ang tawag dito. Yung malaki na rice with chicken and vegetables. So, yan na lang ang kakainin ko. I'm not gonna eat, eat much of the fried rice. Anyway. I mean, the, the white rice. By the way, guys, hindi ko pa nakukuha lahat ng butahe. So, pero ang dami ko nang nakuha. And, um, just for you to know that um, again, this is a very authentic um, Filipino restaurant, and I guess it is from from Pampanga, kaya na siya kabale. So, um, at, and right here, um, napaka konti lang yung choices. Hindi ganun ka nami. But, they are cooked well. So, um, do not expect to get international dish. Kasi wala nyo. Just this is purely Filipino. So, ayan. And as far as my experience, kasi lagi na ako pinagunta dito guys, ang pinakasulit dito, ang pinakamasarap, yes, katarika. So, we'll try that later. But for now, titikmak ito, bulalusok nyo. So, ayan. Okay? Sarap guys. Very refreshing. So, ang daming karmi. So, Yeah, guys, kind 
ulit tayo ng lahi and the steam of crust favorite ko guys ang crust so next on the list is the crispy kangkong tikman nga natin medyo matigas yung breading guys hindi ko siya manguya, sayang so ayan, and tikman natin guys yung kalgoleta ganyan natin kasi ako paborito ko kalgoleta so ganyan lang ako nakakita dito ng kalgoleta try kasi lang po kinakain dito um, ayan na kare kare kasi kare kare yung pinaka the best na dito dito so let's try na kalgoleta So by this, ito, around 400 lang, 398, you are getting all of this already. So mas nakatipid ka kaysa sa nagtuto ka sa bahay. Manalo talaga guys yung kapag yung kapag yung kapag yung Ang gambot ng karne and masarap talaga yung sauce. Walang halong cheese mix yung sauce, talaga. Isa ito sa mga signature dish nila dito na babalik-balikan mo for this price. So, so yan guys, yung naraman natin yung tawilis. By the way, tawilis can only be found in Lake Tali. So, kaya very rare siya, hindi mo siya basta-basta mag-ibig kung saan-saan Ang sarap siya guys Nakaposig na naman natin yung harapin to paborito ko po Ang kalimutan ko yung tawag dito Ayan Well, guys, natikman ko na lahat ng ulam na kinuha ko, guys. Babalik na lang ako dun ulit para matikman natin lahat. Balikan ko kay Maki. So, ayun na, guys. By the way, kalimutan ko palang i-review yung um, sausage. By the way, masarap, guys, yung sausage. So, para siyang sausage na longganisa kaso nga lang, mas mahaba siya so it is slice is slice pero last ng longganisa siya na medyo matamis lang ng pot ayan, so ito yung mga dinagdag ko guys I have pansit puti I have ubat na yung fresh lumpia I have yung snails na dinataang I have um, chicken adobo and then I have dinubuha so come on, let's do it natin siya 
tikman muna natin yung puting pancer. Masarap na guys. Very simple lang yung lasa. Kasi wala siyang ibang sahog kundi yung green onions and then a lot of um, fried garlic. So, very simple lang yung lasa. Tapos, tikman na natin po arroz, which is my favorite as well. Arroz Balenciana with chicken and veggies like green peas and corn. Ayan, masarap din siya guys. So, tikman natin tong chicken adobo. Parang fall of the bone. Hindi kasi ako guys may hindi sa chicken adobo. Pag nag-adobo ako, it's always a combination of chicken and pork with liver. But this time, I'm gonna try kasi mukhang masarap. Masarap siya guys. Quality siya. Tapos try naman natin yung itong bubad na lumpia. Masarap din. Masarap ng sauce. So, Hello. So, mo na guys yung panlasa ko ng ano na sabaw. Tapos tikman naman na natin to. Kaso lang hindi ko alam. Wala silang puti. kailangan ko at ang kumuha na ito. So, ito na muna. Tikman natin yung lubuan nila. Um, okay lang. Sanay kasi ako guys yung lubuan na may gata. Because I'm from me. So, hingin muna ako guys ang toothpick. So, ito na guys. Signature dish din nalito dito. Yung snails na ito. Tignan na natin. Masarap siya. Ayan. So. Medyo mo tamis-tamis. Probably because of the gata. So natikman ko na lahat guys ng ulam. Um, last na lang is the fruits, the dessert, halo-halo. So, so eto na guys, yung dessert ko. Dalawa lang yung fruits doon. Papaya and itong watermelon. Tapos may gel na tila pink. Ayan. Tapos etong halo-halo. So, we'll review later. So, for now, tikman ko muna yung pink bulaman. Okay lang. Masarap naman siya. Maraming ngayon. Lasa siyang pandang. So ito naman guys. Review natin yung halo-halo. Kasi hindi ako masyadong natutuwa sa halo-halo. Because apat lang ang pangsahog niya ito. Ang pangsuhog niya is dalawang dalawang ano, dalawang ano ba yun? Dalawang gelatin pa. Isang gelatin, isang sago na wala namang mga lasa. Tapos itong rice krispies. Tapos yung banana na minatamis. So parang walang ube, walang lechon plan. Tapos yung gatas niya is parang alam mo yung fresh milk. Eh, hindi masarap ang fresh milk guys. 
sa halo-halo, kailangan to iba So, I don't know, successful siya. Pero, iba para Mabuti na to sa kaya sa wala. Pero, ngayon pala, sinasabi ko na, this is really not a taste element. So, tikman natin. Tama nga. Parang wala lang. So, ayan na guys, I'm now done with my buffet and I'm gonna have my final review of the food and the experience. So, um, pretty much, um, my favorite is the caldereta and the kare, kare They really do it best. And um, all of it, again, is a Filipino cuisine. So, you cannot expect any international dish. So, they cook it well, um, they serve it well, the people are nice. And um, for um, 398 on weekends and 378 on weekdays, hindi ka na lugi. So um, I love everything except the halo halo, which is a failure because that is not the way to represent halo halo to people. Um, hindi ganon ang halo halo. Hindi hindi apat lang sa sa halo halo. Hindi pwedeng walang leche flan ng halo-halo, hindi pwedeng walang ube. So, that is just what I can say about it. But everything is good except the halo-halo. So, guys, um, for those who want to um, like do buffet, like if you have celebrations, birthday celebrations, or even if you're just alone, um, you can just go to Kabalen Restaurant. I believe they are available all over the Philippines, especially in the malls like SM and I guess all of the malls have that and it's all over the Philippines so um, thank you so much for watching I'm gonna be doing a series of um, buffet review food review on a weekly basis so next week I'm gonna look for another restaurant that offers buffet and I'm gonna do food review there so yon. so thank you so much guys for watching have a great day and God bless everyone. Mama!